Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They are extremely dense, with such strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light-years away from Earth, according to a statement from NASA. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy 55 million light-years from Earth thrilled scientists around the world. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is about scientists finally seeing what's inside a black hole. However, before we begin our video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Black Hole Discovery Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as theoretical objects, the first black hole ever discovered was Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. Astronomers saw the first signs of the black hole in 1964 when a sounding rocket detected celestial sources of X-rays, according to NASA. In 1971, astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a strange, dark object. It was suggested that the detected X-rays were a result of stellar material being stripped away from the bright star and gobbled up by the dark object, an all-consuming black hole. How many black holes are there? According to the Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI, approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn and is situated approximately 1500 light-years away. The nickname has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, the Unicorn, its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the Sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. Black Hole Images In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope EHT collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the event horizon of the area past which nothing can escape from a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the event horizon or the area past which nothing can escape from a black hole. The image maps the sudden loss of photons, particles of light. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes, now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. In 2021, astronomers revealed a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing what the colossal structure looks like in polarized light. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail. Polarization is a signature of magnetic fields and the image makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. What do black holes look like? Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole, past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes lying in the center of a galaxy may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward rather than being tugged into the moor. Bright jets of material traveling at near-relativistic speeds are created. Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. The EHT's image of a black hole in M87, released in 2019, was an extraordinary effort requiring two years of research even after the images were taken. 
That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that's just too large to transfer via the internet. With time, researchers expect to image other black holes and build up a repository of what the objects look like. The next target is likely Sagittarius A, which is the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A is intriguing because it's quieter than expected, which may be due to magnetic fields smothering its activity, a 2019 study reported. Another study that year showed that a cool gas halo surrounds Sagittarius A, which gives unprecedented insight into what the environment around a black hole looks like. Wormholes, alternate universes, time warps. We've all heard crazy theories about what happens inside a black hole. So, what's the real story? It's impossible to see inside a black hole. We understand what happens outside the black hole as you approach its event horizon, that infamous point of no return. The event horizon is where the escape speed exceeds the speed of light. You'd have to be going faster than light, which is impossible for any bit of matter to escape the black hole's gravity. Inside the event horizon is where physics goes crazy. Calculations suggest that what the fabric of space-time looks like inside a black hole depends on that particular black hole's history. It might be turbulent, twisted, or any other number of things. One thing's for sure, though. The tidal forces would kill you. According to theory, within a black hole there's something called a singularity. A singularity is what all the matter in a black hole gets crushed into. Some people talk about it as a point of infinite density at the center of the black hole, but that's probably wrong. True, it's what classical physics tells us is there, but the singularity is also where classical physics breaks down, so we shouldn't trust what it says here. In a very specific mathematical case, the singularity in a spinning black hole becomes a ring, not a point, but that mathematical situation won't exist in reality. Others say that the singularity is actually a whole surface inside the event horizon. We just don't know. It could be that, in real black holes, Singularities don't even exist. Wormholes are theoretically possible, given the right conditions, but those conditions almost certainly would never exist in the real universe. In October 2018, a small star was violently ripped to shreds when it wandered too close to a black hole in a galaxy 665 million light-years away from Earth. This is called a tidal disruption event, or TDE. These are powerful phenomena that occur when a star comes too close to a black hole, causing it to be stretched and spaghettified by the intense gravitational forces of the black hole. Though the event came as no surprise to astronomers who regularly observed these violent outbursts, a recent observation has captured the attention of scientists around the world. Nearly three years after this tragic event, the same black hole was reawakened and is ejecting material at incredible speeds, reaching half the speed of light directly toward Earth. This changes everything. For decades, the main concept of black holes and the way they work has been what goes in doesn't really come back out, and this ejecting is the exact opposite of that. While most TDEs are known for their quick outflows of material, which can travel up to 50% of the speed of light, this particular TDE is notable for its much slower and more sustained outflow. This suggests that tides may experience a delay between the initial phase of consuming a star and discharging excess matter from their systems. That also means that there may be black holes out there that contain matter from years ago that they may eject at any point, and the objective material might make it into our atmosphere and cause catastrophic events on Earth, or worse, cause a disruption event that takes Earth along with it. How all of this will progress is something we're going to have to wait a little longer to find out. Do you think the TDE could really have an effect on Earth? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.